Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission Director PLO Lumumba hit out at the judiciary, claiming it is undermining efforts to fight graft. This follows a ruling on Friday last week by High Court Judge Lady Justice Kalpana Rawal that concluded that KACC has no power to seize any property obtained through corruption. But when the judiciary of a country which is the arbiter of the conflict between the people and the state and the people as between themselves choose to do that which is right, not right and engage in what I call mechanistic interpretation of the constitution and rogue philosophy, then that country is on its way to Jehanam. The anti-graft body had investigated an official working with the National Water Conservation and Pipeline Corporation, earning 306,000 shillings as gross salary and establishes current assets were valued at 32.5 million shillings and 140 million shillings deposited in various accounts locally and abroad. The investigators suspected that the property had been acquired through corrupt dealings and KACC wanted to seize the assets. Section 55.5 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act provides that if KACC had used evidence and satisfies the court on a balance of probability that a person has unexplained assets, the court may require the person to provide that the assets were acquired otherwise than as a result of corrupt conduct. Abita Lumumba castigated the ruling. The good Judge Rawal says that we have no duty, we have no right, to claim that wealth, that that individual can keep that wealth. Now you understand why we complain about our judiciary. In a ruling on Friday, Justice Rawal noted that Section 55.5 of the Act created a presumption of corrupt conduct on the part of the defendant in acquiring the unexpected assets. The judge concluded that proceedings under Section 55, 5 and 6 of the Act were not a fair trial and those provisions were inconsistent with the new constitution. Thank you so much. Shem Uluchiri, KTN Prime.